All right, guys, cool. We got some huge jegs. I don't know what he wants for them. Pricey, but I got these guys. 30 a piece. And then he's gonna throw in these hot toys, predators, but I'm gonna keep this one right here. Um, classic predator, classic predator. Would you do 200 with this? With the lower end one? Yeah, okay. I need to go pull up. What's up guys? So, nice score on those uh, Predator figures or Hot Toys. Now that's, that's the way to do it. So I got all those really high-end figures. They usually look about 60 to 70 a piece on those Predators. They're pretty rare. Uh, they're coming up in price. Um, and I do have them too, so I'm gonna sell my loose ones, but those are boxed, so awesome score. So guys, check this out. Which one? He passed on this? Wow. Oh, you were selling it to him for cheap. Wow. He has a, he's like a, he's like very picky. Unless he finds it. I thought he meant like he, he missed on it at the Swami. Like, he's like, oh, fuck. I'm just going to pass on it. Yeah, I wouldn't pass this. I looked, I would sell it. I'm like, fuck. This is cool. Different, but to find that box trip, you know, yeah, <coughs> a little bit of everything, honestly. But just thought I'd share this with you guys. They found this at the flea market, really cool. Um, vinyl Ninja Turtle figure, so that was cool. I thought I'd share that with you guys. <sighs> About a red slim. Muchas gracias. All right. Got a wee. 20 bucks. But I think that red one it has an original red controller. For 20 bucks, that's, that's a good price. So. Pretty cool. I sold this controller by itself for 20, so. <laughs> Not a bad buy. Hey, what's up guys? We're here at the flea market early in the morning. I brought Cecilia. I know it's, just, it's been rare, but tell them why, babe, why you haven't been able to. Why I've been working. She's been working. Um, she's working a great job. She's enjoying it, um, but I get the time to spend. I mean, I spend a lot of my time with her when she gets out of work. We get to hang out a bit. And then today she wanted to come to the flea market. I'm glad she did, because now you guys get to see her. Um, and a lot of the vendors miss her, so she wanted to come say hi to everybody. Um, like I said, her, her time's very valuable now, so, you know, I got a chance to bring her out here and uh, hunt. Um, but I noticed something different, guys. Like, once I think you start different, you start di looking, doing different things to find inventory, you kind of don't look at, you, I feel like I'm starting to not appreciate the Swami as much. Because you know a lot of these people get it where I usually get it. So, it's kind of funny. But um, anyway, we're going to look for the label with the toys. Um, she's hoping to bring some for me uh, that she didn't sell on eBay. So, I'm super stoked about that. I'm not sure if she was coming today. But then some other day that we usually buy games from is here. So, let's see what happens. David's a little late. He's starting to come late now. He just told me he's going to start coming a little later when everybody's set up. Oh, that makes sense. So, alright, we're going to go head up the booth to see what we find. Alright, so I'm gonna grab uh, Secret Wars 2 and 3, and I got 4. I'm missing number 1, which is the Spider-Man suit one. It's missing. Hey, look, I got Spider-Pig. Hey, number 1. It was like 20 bucks. Nice comic, but yeah, it's sad that number 1 wasn't there for Secret Wars. It's the first one he first gets his, uh, his costume. Yo, what's up? It's a Halo edition one. People like this, but I, it's so hard for me to sell. Yeah, it's bulky. It's bulky. I mean, you can ship it on eBay. It's kind of cool. I've seen this before too. On oh, Amazon. The gorilla. Was it all there or no? This. This view. Let me see the Mega Man controller. Look at David, guys. Mega Man. It's missing the little something though. You should tell him. Maybe we'll get it for cheaper. How do you even like how do you even add that though? How do you fix that? Yeah, of course it is. 
fucking hate this gun too. Oh man, a little bit of wear, but it's a really rare controller. You guys know? It's the Mega Man X for the GameCube. Finally, we have found something epic. For what the hell is that? Yeah. No. That's crazy. <laughs> Not in that condition. <laughs> Check out the price. Uh, well, you gotta see, yeah, because he has like the consoles and see what he does. He want the controllers. <laughs> oh, that's a good. <laughs> okay, you got it. Check it out. Oh, nothing good there. Nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nah. <laughs> you mean you're not getting the sweet parts? Huh? The what? Alright guys, so uh, you guys saw all those video games. Um, I ended up leaving the game just because the guy had the console, some other guy beat me to it. Um, and he's not, he's not cheap, so he's usually pretty expensive with that stuff. So I left it there. If the guy pays up for it, that's fine. Um, I didn't want to take the games away from the console and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, David picked up the PS4. He got it for 120, complete with controller. Um, that's not a that's a pretty good deal for a PS4. And then uh, we're gonna talk later. See if he did buy it or he didn't buy the console with all the games. So we'll see what happens. He's gonna come back in 30 minutes. If he doesn't buy it, then I'll put it there for you. Um, yeah, because I said like I said, he's not cheap. So yeah, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. No game. No. I don't know why I have flash on, but let me take it off. For controllers, PlayStation, we need the power. Uh, power? For controllers? How much? 40. The games are loose. Loose, but it has a green controller, rumble pack. Mm. 40? Yeah. Expansion? Expansion? For 64? Yeah. But it's right there. It's, it's there. right there. I'm not going to pay it. Yeah, let him, it's I'll all, be back. All, all you guys. Right, let me see. All right, Adrian said there's a 64. Well, let David, because yes, we're gonna deal with him. Right. I'll be back. I'm gonna look at the system. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> it's because David owes him money, so I told David to go to get the games, bro, because like he owes you money, not me. Like I can live without it. Forty. That's expensive. It does have a jungle green. Oh, it's missing the. The AV. Yeah, I know. It's a. No, tiene el otro cable. Oh. Okay. No what? El señor. I think I know who it is. With David, see what he what <laughs> came out. <laughs> what the hell? The Game Boy? Um, no Game Boy. Oh, no man. Like I was trying to take the deals. Get him. Get him. You guys are going to see the 64, but he's on trip out. Good morning. Good morning, bro. And then we had a Nomad, too. Dude, where's the Nomad? No man, these are expensive. Uh, can I grab it? Can you grab the back from the bottom? Pull it. Oh shit! There we go. Nice. Hey guys, so this is a perfect way to end the video. I get a lot of comments if they, they want to see some of the collection. Well, here's part of the collection, and uh, 
I thought I'd share that with you guys. I have a full box Street Shark set. I have every figure from the first series, of course. My vintage Alien, some little figurines there. McKen the Robo, of course. Vintage Chavez. Now, if you guys remember, I picked up those Predators, those hot toys. Well, I decided to keep them. And, of course, here's some more stuff. Now, we're going to get to my wife's spot. Yes, yeah, so we have two Beast Wars, Holy Grail, My Pet Monster figures, or plushes. Super rare. Um, we were able to get another one. And uh, our box Boglins. Those are sealed inside the cases. Those are all sealed, too. Except for one, I think. Of course, this is my wife's collection. This is what we wake up to every morning. Everything else is pretty much boxed away until one day I'll be able to display it. Now, this is a lot of my collection over the time. Stuff that I feel like I didn't need. We're going back to my Predators here. I love my Predators. So I kept all the really badass ones. I think there's maybe like maybe one that I need. My Street Sharks. Uh, Space Force. Street Sharks, my Puppet Masters, and I have a whole box right here full of loose Puppet Master figures that I'm going to display, hopefully, soon. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. It's a perfect way to end the video. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you leave a comment down below, thumbs up the video, and thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe.